The key organ, of course, in fertility is, is the ovary. That's where we begin. And the ovary is actually quite a complicated organ. It's not so simple. It has lots of different parts and different cells, but it all comes together for one purpose. These eggs that women were born with, and then at the right moment, to allow them to release, to come out of the ovary, and then to be available to form a baby. This is the most precious part of a woman, for sure. And the genetic fidelity of that information, making sure that every single part of that DNA is in exquisitely good shape, is essential, right? Because that's the transmission to the baby, that's the next generation. So there are mechanisms within the ovary surveillance mechanisms all the time looking for any evidence at any minute that there could be damage to any of the DNA in, in the ovary. If, if there isn't that, uh, if that's identified, then there, there is immediately a series of steps that get to work to identify it, to, to isolate it, to fix it and to repair it, to make sure that that egg at the right moment, if it's ever becoming the next generation will be in perfect condition, okay? And NAD, is exquisitely involved in making sure that that happens. And it happens because of an enzyme within the cell called PARP. It's the, the second most abundant protein in our nucleus, and it's looking all the time for any evidence, for anything that may have happened to our DNA, and it immediately gloms onto it, it grabs it, and then NAD is next to it, and it grabs NAD as well, and it uses that NAD to make the repair. If we don't have NAD there during all this time, these decades that these eggs are, are being nourished and waiting, then we're going to have a genetic defect in the baby. So it's absolutely essential. That's the first part to make sure you have a healthy baby to so make sure your eggs are in great condition.